If you do a decent amount of largemouth bass fishing, you've definitely heard of the Ned Rig. The Ned Rig is a small, soft plastic stick bait rigged on a mushroom-shaped jig head. The company behind the Ned Rig is Z-Man. Z-Man makes a wide range of freshwater and saltwater baits using a material called Elastec. To look at an Elastec bait, it looks pretty much like your run-of-the-mill soft plastic, but it's actually up to 10 times more durable than most soft plastic baits. So you think of durable and you think of rigid or stiff and something that's not gonna have a lot of action when it comes to a fishing lure. But another one of the unique properties of this Elastec is that it's actually very supple, has a ton of action in the water. It's actually tear-proof, bite-proof when it comes to fish like bluefish. Another one of the qualities of the Elastec is that it's buoyant. When you're fishing a Ned Rig, that stick bait is standing straight up, getting the attention of any largemouth or smallmouth bass in the area. And that's what's made it so successful. So all those qualities of the Elastec that made the Ned Rig such a success in freshwater also make Z-Man's line of soft baits great lures for the salt, for species like stripers, bluefish fluke, and sea bass. Because of those properties of the Elastec, you do have to rig the Z-Man baits a little bit differently than you would your typical soft plastic. So when you're rigging a typical soft plastic bait, that bait is tearing as you put it onto you know, a jig head or a swim bait hook. But because the Z-Man doesn't tear, you're stretching it onto the jig head. Before you sit down to rig up your baits, you want to make sure you have some adhesive handy. This here is Loctite Super Glue Gel. And the nice part about the gel is it gives you a little bit more control, so it's not going to be very runny and going everywhere, so it's going to stay where you put it on the rigging. And also, it doesn't react with the bait, and it's going to hold it in place. Another consideration is that your typical jig head or swim bait hook might not be as good as holding an Elastec bait in place. In addition to their soft baits, Z-Man makes a whole line of hooks and jig heads aimed specifically at rigging Elastec baits. So we're gonna take a look right now at how you get these onto the jig heads, onto the swim bait hooks for the best results possible. So to start, I'm gonna rig up this bait here. This is a scented Paddler Z. I have this being rigged on a head locks. I think this is a 3 8 ounce jig head. Instead of your typical jig head that's gonna have the collar right up against the head right there, this one moves the keeper a little bit further down, so you have a, a little bit of lead that's ribbed that's gonna hold that bait in place. Before I even you know, put the hook into the plastic here, I'm gonna line this up and make sure I know exactly where my hook is gonna be coming out. I'm even gonna make a little pilot hole right there just so I know where I want the hook to come out. So I'm gonna, I see, I'm just gonna do a little puncture right there. Okay, right dead center in the lure and that's gonna tell me where I want that hook to come out as I'm pushing it through. If I were rigging a, you know, kind of a typical soft plastic bait, I wouldn't have to worry so much about having this lined up perfectly because that bait would just tear or I could rip it once it's on the hook. Because the Z-Man doesn't tear, I need to be extra careful on lining this up and having it centered because once it's on there, I'm not gonna be able, I'll have to take the hook back out in order to re-rig it on there straight. That may seem like a little bit extra work, but the payoff is you have a bait that's gonna last for way more fish than your typical soft plastic. The raspy teeth of a striper aren't gonna beat this bait up to the point that you need to replace it. Even something like a bluefish can't just directly bite through this lure. It would take a couple whacks for that to happen. We've actually caught some pretty big bluefish using uh, some of the Z-Man baits, and they were no worse for wear. So I've made my, my little pilot hole there. I'm taking the time to line up and make sure I'm hitting this dead center, and I have the bait going through. I'm pushing it through the bait right now until I've gotten to the little hole I got. Now, once that's past the barb, I'm going to change the way I'm putting it on the jig head. Because of this Elastec, I'm going to, instead of pushing it from the back, I'm actually thinking it more of like I'm pulling it. So here we go. Pulling it past that keeper there. Okay, then we're pulling it up. So just like that, kind of massaging it into place. Once it's on there, you know, I'm not gonna have to change this bait for multiple trips. All right, I think I've got it. That's looking pretty good. So again, I'm kind of pulling it up over that collar there, but I'm not finished yet. Once I'm happy with how it looks, you know, it's, it's, it's raked up there nice and straight. Uh, you know, it's not gonna twist or turn in the water. I'm gonna just pull this part back right here, and I'm gonna apply my glue. And that's gonna further ensure that this bait stays on this jig head, this bait lasts for multiple trips. So I'm gonna put this gel right along the hook keeper right there on this headlocked jig head. And I'm gonna have a bait 
that's going to last me you know, quite a few stripers this spring. Okay, so you see that as I'm pushing it up the jig head, some of that glue is going down into the body. The rest is kind of gathering around the nose. I'm going to pull it up over there. I'm going to hold that into place. I still need to pull it up a little bit more. I want to get full contact between this bait and the jig head there. I'm going to hold it there for a couple seconds, let it set. All right, I held that in place for a little bit. Now it's going to take a little bit longer to fully dry, but I'm very happy with how that bait's looking. This one is set for, uh, you know, probably one of my first striper trips of the year. This Paddler Z style is just such a great all around bait. Pretty much anywhere you're going to find stripers, the, this type of paddle tail style swim bait is, uh, is going to catch them. Another type of jig head that Z-Man produces is one with a sharp keeper barb like this one here. This is actually called the Striper Eye Jig Head. See, it's got a really big uh, eye right there. Good for getting the fish's attention. And it has very sharp barbs that are gonna catch that Elastec material and hold it in place. Again, I'm still gonna use glue to further secure the bait to the jig head. I actually rigged one up just a little bit earlier here. You know, and this is what I want the finished product to look like. And rigging on this striper eye jig head, I'm taking a scented jerk shads. Again, it's made of that Elastec material, so it's very supple. It's gonna have a ton of action in the water. And you'll notice this is covered in a gel right here. This is the scented Pro Cure gel. And one of the major benefits of having scent on your lure is that when a fish bites it, it's less likely to let go before you can get a hook into it. And uh, Z-Man's also being very soft, very pliable baits, you know, feel more natural to the fish. So between that and the scent, fish are gonna grab onto this bait, they're gonna hang onto it, they're more likely to get a good hook set. This is a seven incher. This might be what I'm going for where I'm looking for that first keeper sized fish. Then when we get a little bit more into the springtime, the big stripers are finished spawning in the rivers, they're heading back up, up the coast, they're hungry. That's when I'm gonna go for a big, big meal like this one. This is the Z-Man Hero Z. This is a nine inch bait. And this is one right here that I would rig on a swim bait hook, you know, either weighted or unweighted, because that's gonna give it the best action. Whether I'm fishing from the boat, fishing from shore, uh, there's a, you know, this is a very versatile rigging style. So here is the swim bait hook that Z-Man designed for their Elastec baits. And this is called a chin locks. So you can see it's got that, you know, pretty typical bit of weight molded right on there onto the shank of this wide gap hook. Uh, one of the differences, you have a little bit of lead up here you know, it goes above the hook, and that's gonna hold the chin of this Hero Z in place once you rig it. So the first step with this bait is I'm going to center, you know, make sure I'm dead center on this one, and put the point right through the nose of the bait until I get to this little molded in slot down here that's built to accommodate these wide gap swim bait hooks. So once I have it through there, I'm then going to pull it over the weight. Now with the usual soft plastic, you're gonna blow out the bait doing that. It's not going to sit on the hook very long. You're not gonna, you might not even survive the raking process. But because of the elastic material, it'll have no problem as I kind of push and pull work it over this swim bait weight here, and then it'll return right to its original shape. All right, so I pushed and pulled it, got it over the swim bait weight right there. The next step is gonna be this little chin lock part, and that's what's gonna keep this bait in place. So I'm going to just, again, push and pull the bait over that little chin lock section. Make sure I get it fully out of there. Okay, that snapped through. And ideally, I would be rigging this with the hook already tied to the line. So once I have it through there, it's attached to the line. I'm gonna find the place that I want the hook to come through. Make sure that's sitting pretty. And there we go. You could use some glue on this one if you wanted. I don't think it's quite as necessary. These chin locks in combination with the uh, Elastec baits, this is gonna stay just fine. You know, if you wanted to add a little dab up here by the nose, you could, but I don't think that's ultimately necessary. And again, because of that soft, supple Elastec material, when a fish bites this, you have no worries about this bait collapsing and the fish getting the full force of that big, uh, this is a 12-0 hook right here. You know, so once I have them rigged, I'm gonna do this at home because it does, you know, I wanna be careful. I don't wanna be rocking around on a boat 
I don't want to be in a rush. So I want to do this before my trip, you know, the night before, the day before my trip. I'm going to get these baits rigged, glued, and then I'm going to store them. You do have to take some considerations when storing Elastec baits. Every package of Z-Man Elastec baits has a little warning there on the back. And um, basically what that says is, do not store these with other types of soft plastic material because the two materials will react and you're gonna ruin both baits. What Z-Man recommends is storing them, if it's possible, in the, the packages that they came in. And Z-Man has a whole line of kind of storage, tackle storage solutions to accommodate these bags. Um, or, you know, you could just put the baits in these, stash them in your tackle box, stash them in your uh, plug bag if you're surf fishing, and they'll stay just fine in these. You know, I'm gonna take these baits, toss them right back in the container, especially for the scented ones. That's gonna help them absorb and, and kind of gather more of this Procure scent that's on there. So when I pop them out of the uh, out of the bag and tie them on the next day, when I'm ready to fish, they're gonna be really stinky, they're gonna be rigged right, and it's gonna be perfect for, uh, for a day and multiple days of fishing.